Chair side restorations can be a game changer for your crown and bridge work. You can save literally thousands of dollars each week in lab bills and be able to provide your patients with single visit ceramic restorations. I'm going to show you how you can use the Helios 600 scanner and Exocad Chairside CAD to fabricate chairside restorations in-house for better patient experiences. Here we have scans taken with a Helios 600 intraoral scanner and we want to provide a same day crown to our patient so we will use Exocad software to design and fabricate the restoration. First is the case setup and indications. This is like your lab form. Fill in all the appropriate patient and case details and then you can move forward with the workflow. Second, you import your scans. The Helios 600 scanner enables easy exporting of STL and PLY scans. I suggest using the PLY file type when you can because this is a color file and it can be easier to identify the tooth margins when the models are in color. However, both STL and PLY work fine. So as you can see, I'm importing the scans and then the next part of the workflow is orientating the scans as per the instructions on the software. You need to confirm the orientation and then you place your margin line. There are a number of different margin tools as you can see, such as automatic detection or manual detection. This is where your preparation is going to be critical. If you prepare the margins very clearly, it is much easier and quicker to draw the margin line. Always remember guys, rubbish in, rubbish out. In other words, the CAD software can only work with what you give it. And these days with modern ceramics, we often have our margin line super gingival, which help conserve tooth structure, but also make it easier to identify on the software. So whenever you can, try to refine your margin lines and make them very clear. Retraction and fluid management is also key here. If you need help with this aspect of tooth preparation, watch our modern prep design and margination course online. So as you can see, I'm drawing our margin line and once we're happy with this, we can proceed with the workflow. The next step is insertion direction. In this part of the workflow, we will tell the software where the insertion direction of the restoration is. For a single crown, this is very simple and most of the time you simply set it at the occlusal point of view. What you want to keep an eye out for is ensuring that the adjacent teeth do not obscure the margin line from your selected path of insertion. And you also want to try and minimize or avoid undercuts as much as possible at the same time. Moving forward in the workflow, now the system will generate the intaglio surface, cement gap, and minimum thickness. Then you choose a tooth from the design library and place it over your tooth preparation. Here you can now begin the CAD design process. You can change the size of this library tooth and the rough position of it to fit the arch. Clicking next at this stage will mean the library tooth you have positioned will now be attached to your margin line and now the real CAD designing begins. There are a huge range of different tools that you can use to design a restoration and here are a few tips. You need to make sure the tooth is not bulky from the frontal view and it fits nicely in the arch from all directions. Check the marginal ridges and make sure they're the same height as the neighboring teeth where appropriate. You can change or modify cusp positions and ensure that everything mimics nature as best as possible. Adjust the interproximal contacts. This is vital when designing restorations as you don't want a tight contact or even worse, an open contact. You also need to make sure you check the occlusion and ensure the restoration fits seamlessly in the mouth so it doesn't require any high spots to be ground down. Finally, it's vital to check the minimum thickness and ensure that you have not breached the desired materials minimum thickness as this will compromise longevity. If you want some detailed training on CAD designing, we have our Fundamentals of CAD CAM Design course available in our IDD online membership. Once you are happy with the design, check your final restoration from all directions before proceeding in the workflow. The final part of the workflow is fabricating the crown. Proceed by choosing the right block or blank of material for your restoration and nest the restoration within this material. You can adjust the sprue so it avoids any critical areas such as contact points or margins. Finally, you are ready to mill. Send the restoration to your CAM software and begin the process. 
Once you get comfortable with this CAD designing process, this shouldn't take you longer than 15 to 20 minutes. If you factor in milling and glazing, you should be able to completely manufacture a crown in-house within one hour with a bit of training. You can learn about the rest of the process in our Milling, Processing and Finishing Restorations course at IDD Online. This has been a crash course of the workflow to give you an idea of how to achieve this. Thanks for watching.